My trusty iPhone 7 is dying. I bought it like a year or two ago at the Apple store in Hong Kong, and it's noon now, and the battery is down to 10%. So I gotta replace it. Now, I could take it back to the Apple store, and they would replace it for like $49 US, which is less than it used to be, but if you're here in Shenzhen, China, as you'll soon see, that's a terrible price. Shenzhen is arguably the cell phone repair capital of the world, and boy, do they have batteries. So I'm off to the markets. We're gonna go find a battery. Uh, and I got two main questions I need to figure out. The first is, how do I know if a battery is any good? And the second is kind of related, which is, how do I know if a battery is genuine? And I don't really know the answer to either one of these questions, but we're gonna find out. I'd like to thank iFixit for sponsoring this video. More on that at the end. But for now, let's go find some batteries. It seems expensive. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> it's expensive, though, yeah? Very high price. 不是不是一万张，是的，是原装的。这个这个是这个啊，这个这个一万张，这个不是。这个也是的。谢谢你啊，谢谢你哦。Hello, you speak some English. You can speak Chinese. A little bit. 你一点点。你要苹果几呀？呃，嗯，我要七代。Forty-five, okay. Thank you. Say Sunny. Okay. Uh, we are uh, Chi Dai. Huh? Dos a Tian Yiga. Uh, Okay. Bye bye. We are Chi Dai. Chi Dai. Yeah. Chi Dai, you want to buy a logo? Can you? Okay. Uh, this logo can be removed. It can be removed from the factory. It can be removed directly. It can be removed from the factory. 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 So just about every one of these battery booths seems to have some sort of battery tester that they're using to test whether the battery is good before they sell it to me. I think I gotta track one of those down for myself. Okay, so you've got cycle count here and then design capacity. So this is like, and then this like unplugs here. So it's double USB. Just that random right cycle. Number. I see, this is a fancy one. So. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 对对啊这个就就就重新去的我明白明白是吧就这样它自己跳的时候就是了对要放电了啊啊这里有英文就对啊你自己调它有这个的你你自己连电脑就有了哦 Okay, okay, one by. One by. Okay. Okay, I need I need something that will test 
original. Yeah, both copies and original. So this one, copy and original. All right. Yes, let's get this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got all the pieces. I've got my handful of batteries. Uh, I've gone through and labeled all of these with uh, which booth they were from so that I can match it up with what they said, whether they said it was original or not, um, and then how much they cost. And I got my battery tester. I also got two Nohan batteries off of Taobao. Uh, someone on Twitter tipped me off to this, thank you. This one is a normal one, uh, same capacity as usual on an iPhone. This one is a max and it has a higher capacity than the original iPhone battery. So I thought I would get this check to see is that capacity actually real and see if we can figure out why is it bigger than the one Apple makes? Is it heavier? Is it physical size bigger? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so here are the boards that plug in. And this one you plug in via the cable. I think these are big resistors to do load testing for like discharging a battery. We got three boards and then just a charger and cable here. We've got 4G through X iPhone there. This is for USB and lightning jack testing, or like cable testing, I bet. And then this has got watches and iPads. Connect testing board. Connect battery. So this one cost 48 RMB, and she said it was original. You could plug this thing in like so, and it will tell you whether it's original or not. It'll tell you how many times it's charged, what it's designed to be the capacity, and what the actual capacity is in milliamp hours. Battery life, oh, maybe it's just what percentage is full capacity over design capacity, I bet that's it. She said this was original, the test says original, and it was 48 quai, which is about $7. And so you can do a couple things. Uh, you can test charging. It's charging at about 500 milliamp hours. And then the full capacity changes a little bit when we charge or discharge. Okay, so let's stop charging. Okay, so now it's drawing 300 milliamp hours. So this is going down. And then I notice sometimes the full capacity shifts a little bit. I think what it's doing is it's testing how much current it's drawing compared to the voltage drop. And it's trying to figure out what is the, okay, there it goes. It went down to 213. So it's it's figuring out what is the capacity of the battery based on how much current it's drawing versus what voltage drop. And I would imagine the longer you do this, the more accurate it gets. So now once you've figured that out, then you can hit life and it will read how much life there is out of the current battery. But if you hold life down, you can reset it. So the cycle count is how many times the battery has been charged. You can either reset that to zero like that, or you can hold it down and it will write some random small number to it. So that's to make it look like it is a new battery, but not a brand new battery or a brand new battery that has never been charged if you hit zero. Pretty interesting. So it makes it a lot more tricky to figure out if you're buying batteries on the open market what their current status is. So number two was expensive. It was 55 and they said that the cable, this part is original, but this part is a, uh, the battery itself, the cells were, were new ones. Okay, so this is copy. I mean, I guess it means it's not original, but they did tell us that. I mean, it seems reasonable, right? The capacity is reasonable. All right, let's test life. I mean, could you be doing anything really tricky in this logic to change these numbers? Maybe. Okay, number three, this one is interesting. This is an aftermarket brand battery, Do Re Mi. Okay, this also says copy one of one. So we would expect that. It's not labeled as an original Apple battery. Full capacity is much higher than we would expect. It's discharging right now, we'll see if the capacity drops. But this seems to be like a pretty decent battery. I mean, I think you'd have to put a lot of charges through it charge it, discharge it, charge it, discharge it to really get the full test. Yeah, seems seems reasonable. Let's see what life says. 
80. I don't know what that means, but I feel like 100 is a good number. Number four. Okay, they said this one is original. It is original. It says Battery tester says it's original anyway. Battery life, 100%. Now, when I bought the tester, she did say that this tester could tell the difference between like just an original cable and an original cell. And I'm not quite sure how that works, but this must be fully original, I don't know. I'm surprised it has a cycle count of zero if it's really fully original, but maybe they wiped it and do life 80. This one, they also said was original, but it was much cheaper. It was only 30 RMB. First non-zero cycle count. Full capacity is a little less than designed capacity. Okay, this is kind of what I would expect for a used battery. Let's try life 100. So the last battery, I was trying to find more aftermarket batteries, like the, the Nohan and the Doremi. I approached the lady and said, oh, I don't, I want one without the logo. She dutifully scrubbed off the logo on this. It had an Apple logo. She scrubbed it off uh, with a complex set. It looked like an eraser and um, some solvents. And so this one now does not have an Apple logo, which I guess is, you know, strictly speaking, what I asked for. Okay, and it says copy. I think she told me it wasn't original. I think based on at least the tester, these batteries are in pretty good condition, all considering, but a wide range of prices. At least what I can test with this tester, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of difference in quality. So definitely some room to bargain. I kind of had a feeling that like fair prices for batteries in the markets was about 30 RMB. But um, I wanted to get a, a variety of things and people didn't seem too interested in bundling on price for one. So I don't sweat that stuff too much. It's not worth damaging relationships and pissing people off to argue over a dollar. Okay, so let's, oh, let's look at life here, 100. All right, so that is all of the batteries that I bought in the market. Now I wanna check out the Nohan batteries. So I'm gonna start with the just normal one. What I found on Taobao was this like complete kit. So it's got all the tools, six month warranty. They seem like they are the same weight. Um, I did manage to dig a scale up uh, later here. This is the Nohan Max. Here is the Nohan, which is 30 is heavier. Here's one of the uh, batteries in the market. Huh. Non-original battery. That is different than copy one of one. I wonder if that means they're making their own cable here and it's not the the battery manufacturer we were seeing before it's sun Wuda, which is new but the capacity is right no cycle count huh that's interesting battery level 50 percent I, do, I don't understand that so this is the this is the special one this is the one that is bigger than labeled capacity of an original iphone battery non-original bat okay we expect that wow look at that capacity Okay, well at least the tester claims it's the right thing. Let's try discharging it. So we can see the voltage going down here. All right, so let's test life, 50. The next thing I would like to do is crack open my phone, which has been backing up for the past hour or two, and run the battery tester on the battery that's in there. And let's see how many cycles it has and how bad it is now. These original phones are really well sealed on that gasket around the screen. I'm gonna have to use some hot air here. So this is a little bit of a pain. Um, these battery strips are prone to breaking. And so they're, the idea is they're super stretchy and you stretch them out and that undoes the adhesive. Uh, but you really don't want them to break because then you have to go prying stuff. And, uh, so sometimes people use a little heat to heat up the bottom of the phone. I'm just gonna pull it slowly. Oh no! That's what I wanted to avoid. Dang it. Still get it out, but it's a little more risky now. The other one. No good. So now we heat up the back and try and pry the battery out. Now I only want to use plastic tools. I really don't want to puncture this battery with a metal tool because then it might blow up on me and that's no good. Mm. 
hear that sound. It's a good sound. It's how you want it to sound. Okay, that's what's supposed to happen. One out, one to go. Ta-da! Whoa, look at that. Let's throw it on a tester. Whoa, 725 cycles. <laughs> that's crazy. The capacity is definitely lower than what it should be, but it's only like 85%? That's better than I would have guessed. I wonder if there's something else going on with my phone. And the manufacturer is Huapu. And it's very charged, which when you change your battery, it should not be as charged. Uh, okay, let's try discharging it. I'm surprised that this is not like 50%. All right, so let's stop this for a minute. And I just wanna see what life says. 60. The question is, what one should I put in my phone? And I'm not sure I have a really clear answer. One. Okay, this one's pretty good. I like this one the best right now. Uh, and then the two Nohans. I mean, I could just put one in there that I could put in the Max. I feel like I should do that. I think I'm gonna try the Max. Well, let's test it first. Let's see if the phone boots. All right, I mean, it seems to work. So uh, I'm gonna turn the phone back off and put some battery strips in it and close it back up. Take one of these two off. They seem to like sticking to the pink, so I'm gonna leave the pink on. So you take one side off and then you line it up on the battery so that the black strips overhang the edge. So right where the black and the white separate, you do that on the edge of the battery. So, and then you peel off the blue part here, and you wrap that up around the edge like that, and then you finally pull this off gently once you make sure these are stuck on. You try and get it to stay stuck on like that. And then you want to really line this up carefully because you want to make sure the plug goes in. So, yep, and that will go in and uh, good to go. This. Oh, right, gaskets. I think you have to do this before you put the screen on. Whoops. Well, that's not perfect. Uh, I don't think it'll ever be perfectly waterproof again, but uh, it's better than nothing. Okay, looks good to me. I think that's it. So I have a new battery, but what did we learn along the way? Uh, my old battery was messed up, but not as much as I thought it was. You can indeed get a battery that is bigger than the original battery. Uh, higher capacity. There's clearly a wide variety of replacement batteries you can buy, ranging from, you know, aftermarket batteries like Nohan and Do Re Mi that, that uh, you know, are branded something different, to uh, original Apple batteries that are available for sale, uh, varying states of used and new, uh, to uh, copies. And that say Apple on them that may or may not have um, some original Apple electronics with new cells in them. So, I mean, this kind of maps onto my uh, previous mental model of China and, and manufacturing, which is that you can kind of get any quality you want uh, under any brand name you want, uh, and you'll pay accordingly for it. And it is up to you, the consumer, to figure out uh, what quality you'd like. What advice would I give? Because I imagine that a lot of you are gonna ask me, Scotty, how should I replace my battery? Um, I, short of buying a $150 battery tester, uh, I'm not sure that you have a whole lot of options in terms of figuring out 
which batteries are completely legit. Uh, I think, you know, probably the best thing is to buy batteries from reputable sellers that, uh, you know, have a reputation to uphold and test their batteries properly on a proper tester. Uh, if you're buying, you know, batteries from random sellers on AliExpress with unknown histories, um, then buyer beware. I think the other conclusion, and I, and I hope you guys came away from this, from this as well, is that the actual process of swapping the battery is super easy. If I wasn't filming it, it probably would have taken me, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes at most, including breaking the battery strips, the, the glue strips. So uh, I definitely would, would suggest do this on your own. I, I don't really see a lot of reason, if you're the least bit technically inclined, to take your phone to the Apple store, unless it's still under warranty, to have a battery replaced. I, yeah, this is something that most people can do. I, I think it's really pretty straightforward. So I was just gonna leave this video here, um, but <laughs> I didn't feel comfortable with that because I knew a bunch of you were gonna ask me, Scotty, I just wanna replace my battery. I don't wanna go on a crazy market AliExpress adventure what battery should I buy? Just tell me which one. And based on the work that I've done thus far, I didn't feel like I had a battery that I could point at and be like, buy this one, it's the good one. And it was really bugging me. So I talked to my friends over at iFixit and I think we might have an answer for you. Um, just in the interest of full transparency, they are sponsoring this video, but they put together a battery kit, which not, includes not only just the battery, but also all the tools and supplies you need to swap it out. I asked them to send over one of their kits because I didn't want to recommend it unless I tested it out myself. And they sent it over super rush in time for me to finish this video. However, I didn't get this until I had to be out of the apartment. If you don't know what that's about, go watch the last video. Um, but the, hence the different background. So let's open this thing up. So, okay. So it's got tools. <laughs> not, not strapped in. <laughs> Awesome. So it has all the tools you could possibly need for this. Um, very cool. And then screen gasket, battery strips. But the big question is, how is the battery? So it is an iFixit branded battery, which is what we would expect. Um, compatible with iPhone 7. It's got the right specs. Most importantly, let's put this on the tester. So we see original one of one iPhone 7, cycle count zero, kind of what we'd expect. Uh, full capacity 2003, so slightly above the design capacity, which gives it 102%. Um, and let's see, let's test life here. 100, that's good. So at least according to the tester, this is a pretty decent battery out of the ones we've tested. iFixit did say they test all of the batteries at their headquarters on test equipment like this. Now, this is an aftermarket battery. It wasn't made by Apple, similar to the Nohan and the Doremi batteries, uh, but iFixit claims that it's made to the same quality that Apple makes their batteries. I've also really enjoyed working with them thus far. They're super nice people. They have incredible customer support, and I actually use their repair guides as my canonical reference whenever I do any of my iPhone projects. They've also committed, even though Apple has raised their price back up from $29 to $49 to replace a battery, that they'll keep their battery kits at $29 or below until the end of this year, 2019. Now, that's no $5 battery from the Chinese cell phone markets, uh, but they're backing with one year warranty, so I know if you have any problems, they'll do right by you. If you wanna order one of their battery kits or you just wanna use their free repair guides to swap out a battery you got somewhere else, you can find links to both of those in the description. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> whether you buy one of the iFixit kits or whether you buy a battery online or get it some other way, go replace your iPhone battery. It really is easier than you think and your phone will run a lot better for it. I'm Scotty with Strange Parts. If you enjoyed this adventure, hit that subscribe button down below and that little bell icon next to it so you're notified of future videos. Until then, Stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you next time.